Hey there, this is Charles, and I'm here with Rain, the beautiful character model and rig from the Blender Foundation. She's freely available from studio.blender.org. Today we're going to be talking about the Audio to Face panel, which is now available with the Omniverse version of Blender. The Audio to Face panel is a tool to help you get your characters out of Blender easier and into Audio to Face, and to also get the shapes that Audio to Face generates back onto your characters in Blender with a minimum of effort. Let's have a look at Rain. The base version of Rain that uh, you can download from the website, her head is cut off. What I did here is I've actually gone in and stitched it on because I think that a lot of people out there are going to have a question of how they can get shapes out of audio to face and into Blender if their character has a full body with the head without a seam. And that's what this is all about today. On the panel, we have two buttons, Export Static and Export Dynamic. Audio to face has static meshes, which do not deform, and dynamic meshes, which do deform with the face. So let's have a look at what static meshes would look like. I'm going to grab both eyes and hit export static. You can see that the add-on builds a set of collections and creates duplicates of the geometry with special naming. I'm going to take this left eye, bring it in, and place it in the left eye mesh socket and the right eye goes into the right eye mesh socket. I'll explain why we're doing this once we export. For the gums, I'm just going to come up here to the body and grab the gums. We have both of those in there. Now, one thing about the add-on, we do not go and bake modifiers. In this case, the gums have a mirror modifier live on them, and I believe the lower gums have shapes on them. So I'm going to just come in here and remove those shapes. We're not going to worry about this coming back in because we can always just go to an earlier version of our file, but we do need to have this geometry available in audio to face if we want to be able to visualize. Now that that's been done, we're going to come over here and just hit control A to apply the mirror and do the same for the upper gums. There we go. And now I'm going to grab both lower and upper and hit export static. We will grab the lower gums and drag them into the lower gums socket here. Similar thing for the tongue, we're going to grab the tongue, but instead of export static, we're going to hit export dynamic because the tongue does change shape. We'll grab that and put that into the tongue mesh socket. And you'll notice that we now have a dynamic collection as well. For the head, I promised we were going to cut our head off and send just the head itself over to audio to face. If we come into edit mode. I'm going to link select all of these pieces by hitting L and I'm just going to box select with V. Although I, I'm using the old 2.79 keyboard shortcuts in case you're trying to follow along. So just the head selected now. And you'll notice that these buttons no longer work because we're in edit mode. If I click use face selection, now I can hit export dynamic. It will pull only the faces that were selected and split those off for this shape. I'm going to take this and move it into skin mesh. That's going to be the main driver. We're going to skip the eyelashes, but maybe the eyebrows would be helpful for positioning. So I'm also going to grab that. You'll notice use faces must be in polygon edit mode. So I'm going to uncheck that. We're not taking just a piece of this. So let's export dynamic. And now we should be good to go. If we hide our original collection, we'll see that we have a good setup for the face, including all the teeth and tongue on the inside. All right. I've already chosen a spot on disk to save this. We'll be saving it as rain.usdc. I'm also checking export with project file. These sockets that we've set up here will now be exported as part of the project file so that we don't have to reset them up in audio to face. I'll show you what that means in a second. Let's hit export. And then join me over in audio to face once I've got this loaded and we'll see how this looks on the other side. All right, here we are in the audio to face application. We have our default scene. Let's first look at the rain.usdc file. So that was the name of the file that I picked. And as you can see, all of our meshes are here. However, the character face mesh selections have not been picked. If we come and now pick the rain project file, you'll see that that has all been filled in for you based on what you set up in Blender. And any additional meshes have also been filled in. So let's set up our character. Okay, we have our regular audio to face setup here with the two heads. 
And of course, if you're used to audio to face, you know that the first thing we're going to have to do is start picking points to match between the two characters. This is a very long process, and I don't think that you need to sit and watch me click and click and click. So let me finish marking up these two characters and making sure that they match, and I will be back in just a second. And we're back. Please keep in mind this is a very quick setup. Obviously, the more points you add, the better your solve will be. In fact, I think I might add a few more points to the cheeks just to make sure that we get a better solve in that area. But we're done, and now we can begin with our mesh fitting. All right, we do our post wrap, tongue mesh fitting, obviously I'm skipping a few steps here, but we're basically done. We have everything that we need, and we have a whole bunch of shapes we can preview in the stage and have a look at how some of these have come out. Got our smiles and some of those BMP shapes. That's looking pretty good. Let's export what we have back to Blender. I'm going to hit export here and find that same folder. And I'm just gonna call this exported. Perfect. We're going to head back over to Blender. I will see you there in a second. Back where we left Rain in Blender, let's have a look at importing our file. We'll just go to the import path. And again, we're, we exported it as exported.usd, but we actually want the USD scale one here. So we'll hit choose USD file and then import rig. Before, what happened was it would bring in the exported file with the skeleton and a bunch of other stuff, and it wouldn't be exactly where it needed to be. So I've modified that and we have this A2F import that has everything we need. Now you can immediately hit transfer shape data. So I'd like to just really quickly turn off the audio to face stuff and we'll come on to Rain's mesh again. Let's look at her blend shapes. So she still has blend shapes. She has all the shapes that were there. I guess they're correctives from the rig itself. So watch what happens when I hit transfer shape data. Now we have all of these other shapes like her brows Let me see if I can find that cheek one that I like the most, cheek puff. Okay, so all of those shapes have come over to the face. The rig has not been broken. Her head has not been cut off on this side. And in fact, let me just prove that to you by coming into the armature, going into pose mode, rotating her head. And let's go back to those cheek puffs. So they're still working just fine. So that is the new workflow. We are, of course, looking for any comments or suggestions you have. And if you make anything cool with it, please share it with us. Thanks.